So as we go up here and take off, the pasture to the left is the goat pasture. The pasture to the right is for the horse and the donkey. So you can definitely tell a difference here of how much they've eaten it down, how many weeds, everything that's actually out in the out in the fields. So we'll do a quick flyby here so you can really kind of get an idea of how much is out there. The sun's getting ready to set, so it's kind of changed the lighting on the camera. But if you look over here, so this pasture is where the goats are. As you can see as we fly overhead here, not a whole lot of weeds in there. They've really done a really, really good job of just getting it down to where it's just grass that's left. They do have small patches of weeds and things out through there, but if you actually look over here, so you can see where I cut the swath where I'm going to turn the goats, but you can really see all the weeds just growing crazy out here in this pasture. Now if we go to the far end of this pasture as well, another thing we do have down here is we are full of blackberry bushes down here by the creek. So what we want to do is we're going to turn the goats loose on this whole pasture and we're going to let them eat this whole huge blackberry bush patch right here. So these are all blackberries and some invasive species of different kind of just weeds in general. So we're just going to turn the goats loose and just let them kind of graze through and go through everything there. All right, well, just got the fence done here. Just got this little pathway opened up to connect these two pastures. So Tundra and Luna are already kind of out checking the place, making sure everything's safe all the way down there. Getting ready to finish kind of weed whacking around the hot fence, plug it in. I'm going to bait the goats out here and see how the goats react. So this will be kind of an extension of their pasture all the way down here to the blackberry bushes. So let's kind of continue on with our uh, selective grazing. I had to think about it there for a second. Uh, I want the goats to come through. You can just tell this just overtaken with weeds. So we're really hoping if we turn the goats loose in here, they'll cut all the weeds down and that'll be a natural way of getting this ready to reseed it. We're going to probably do an alfalfa hay mixture out in this pasture. So we're going to let the goats eat it down first and then we'll just try to overseed it. You can see Tundra and Luna kind of checking out the new place. Come here girls! Tundra! Luna! Come here girlies! They're already down here checking everything out. Oh good babies! That's my good girls! Good girls! Well let's go get your goats! Let's go get those goats! Get them over here! Let's go get your goats! Come on! Come on! Let's go get the goats! Where's your goats? Let's go get them. Let's go see if we can get the goats to come in here and check this out. They're going to love this. And I'm going to grab all of our other girls and all of our weathers. So we're going to put the whole batch of goats out here. Let's go see if we can round them up. Goody goats! Goody goats! Come on, goaties. Come on, goats. Come on, guys. Come on, goaties. Come on, goats. Come on, goats. Yep. Now Piper and Bree are coming over. See how they... Oh, yeah, that's a hot fence. <laughs> Come on, goats. Come on. <laughs> Jeez. Come and get some grain, you two. Go to goats. Come on. Quit messing with each other and come get over here. Let's see what you guys do over here in this pasture, huh? Alright, let's get all the goats walking here. So they kind of have an idea where their pasture is. Everybody's kind of turned loose here. Throw the green bucket there. Come on, goats. Let's take them down here to the blackberry bushes. That's what they're really going to like. You can see they're already picking through these weeds. Just in the few minutes they've been out here, they're kind of picking what they like. Come on, goats. Down here's the good stuff. I run and get them all to follow me here. Come on, goats. Go to goats. <laughs> Here they come. Come on, goaties. All right. Good girl. Come on, goats. Here's the good stuff. And here's all the blackberry bushes. You can see they're already coming through here, just really picking what they want. And yeah, this is the good stuff for them. 
this is blackberry bushes and you know really start taking taking a like into this and start clearing this area out for us these blackberry bushes have moved out about 10 feet since we've been here over the past few years so hopefully this will help push those back oh yeah look at them really going well this will be nice i'm gonna go catch some other goats we got three more uh two more weathers and another female we're gonna move out here so i'm gonna go catch them bring them out here oh here comes little kiwi come on kiwis come on goaty come on goat <laughs> Move them little legs. Come down here before they eat it all. <laughs> Goofy girl. I love seeing them already just being selective. They're already picking through these weeds. Finding the ones that they really like. And they're really going to go crazy on these bushes, I'm sure. My babies. Good dogs. Good dogs. Yeah, get on that stuff, guys. Alright, let's go catch some other goats and get them all out here. So I'll do a uh, flyover with my drone and I'll come kind of walk through here and I'm going to try to come by every day or two and really show how this pasture will kind of get eaten down and then also how this is going to get pushed back. I'm sure it probably won't take much because this is where they're going to like to be. It'll be interesting in the evenings though because Tundra and Luna push all the goats back every night away from the fences and all the way down here in the shelters. So I'll be curious to see if the dogs move them tonight or where they go. So I'll be coming to check in on them tonight just to make sure. But, man, they are going crazy already. I bet they're really going to enjoy this. All right, so here we are at the selective grazing here. So here's day one. 